All right, guys, I want to do a quick uh, video on the assembly of the overdrive uh, clutch pistons on the 4L80E. Uh, this is, in order to assemble these, you need this special tool, uh, which I have. So uh, let's start putting this together, and uh, I'll show you how the tool uh, is used. So we got one lip seal here. two o-rings in all right this is in this o-ring right there well lip seal I should say and right now let's uh, grease them up real good the tool I have is uh, is from Kenmore and it is plastic uh, there is one that is made uh, with uh, of, of metal or steel, and that one, of course, is uh, is much better. Uh, uh, I've used that one in the past a couple of times, and I've had to think together in just a few minutes. I've had um, a, a little bit of an issue with the plastic one, uh, so what I did, or what I do, is I soak it in hot water. Uh, to expand it a little bit and that's what it's doing right now while I'm greasing this up and then I'm gonna go and get it I'll go and get it and uh, we'll put the uh, hopefully put this together real simple with the tool so you can see how it works Okay, so here's one of the base. Here's the base. Got the uh, springs. Here is the snap ring. And let me uh, run and get the uh, the tool real quick. Okay, so here are the other two pieces, and then the one piece is going to go, this actually has a lip on it, so this piece is going to go in here, and then it sits on the base, just like that, and then the other piece, uh, here's the lip seal, and this is going to go We got some grease here because this is actually where the lip seal is going to go. Okay, now this is going to go. This is going to go straight down. Okay, now what we could do is we're going to push the aluminum housing down to go into both lip seals. So this is how it looks now, and then we want to kind of keep pressure on it and push it down. Take this off, and then I got my little feeler gauge just to kind of go around because there's not really many chamfer, so it's very tough. Okay. 
Okay, I think it just actually went a little bit. So this that piece had four, so we got to do this. Again. So let's try this again. This piece actually fell, but it's supposed to. But I think it fell too soon. All right, so we're gonna put that. I'm gonna put that, and then I'm gonna hold this this time. Okay, I'll take this one out. Let's go around very little bit with the field gauge. Okay. Actually, one side just dropped in. Okay. All right, so here's that. And now let's see if we can get this started so we don't lose anything. Okay, I got the one side started. I like to start it right by the retainer so it won't uh, fly out. I don't really have a, a compression tool for this so I'm going to do this by hand and with a screwdriver. Step ring around. Well, everything is still in, but snap ring's being a little stubborn. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right, so now we'll take everything back off the base. And this is the housing together. So let's uh, check it real quick. We'll get our clutches. gonna sit this is gonna face me okay because there is one uh, one this one here that's not just swollen all the rest and that's gonna go in this one right here all right so let's put the rest in and we're gonna give it an air check So this is a, uh, actually it, it can't be done. You cannot do this without the tool. So until I had it, you know, these clutches most of the time are good and I think a lot of people maybe don't even open this. But I like to, uh, since I have the tool, I just like to use it. Okay, so let's give this an air check and make sure this is working. good 
And that's really about it. This is the assembly of the overdrive uh, clutch pistons and retainer spring on the uh, 4L80E. Thanks for watching, guys.